hello my lovely people welcome back to my channel i greet you according to your time and the time you are seeing this video we are still on the gist from the palace of uni of ife allegedly hmm, they said the truth don't come out to oh. concerning who put the juju inside the king's chamber hmm. okay well, for those of you who have not watched the previous videos they said like two days now they said uh, uh, a cleaner or uh, be a staff was cleaning the king's chamber and saw a juju a charm that was tied in a red cloth inside the king's chamber and the, the thing uh, it shocked the king nobody smarting they said the king have gathered all the oloris in the palace asked them you know even threatening them yet they did not agree to say that it is this person or this person they said they started accusing themselves right in there okay but after everything uh, you cannot say that it is this person or that person so and there have been a lot of suggestions from people to the king on how to get out the truth on how to find out the truth from these women some say that he should take them to the shrine to if uh, so that they will swear with the uh, deity and all of that why others are saying that it is too it can bring calamity to the land you know and it is to be too embarrassing to those who are innocent because from the look of things nobody all of them do them mm -hmm. so but uh, the king's stepmother suggested to him that it would be better that uh, he didn't use that method rather that he should arrest them you know with police and torture them maybe through the process that they are going to say the truth or he will use the opportunity to throw them out of the palace since he has been looking for a way to achieve that so that when Naomi and Prince Tadenika will can come back to the palace. So with all this drama going on every now and then, the king became confused that he doesn't know which one to follow. But the only thing is that because he is afraid, you know, he is no more safe with the women. His safety is no more guaranteed and all of that. The king uh, must do something to see that uh, they find out who dropped that charm and the person's purpose. Because many people uh, may have their different reasons for doing charm. If the person wants to do the charm for the king to love her the more, or if the person wants to do, uh, the person did the charm so that the king will hate other oloris and love her alone. Or if the person have done that so that the king will be doing as she say. Or if the king have done that so that Queen Naomi will not come closer to the king again. Or if there are many reasons why people can do such a thing. And that is what is still confusing to the king that is not something that he will just keep quiet. Because if he keep quiet over this thing, you will find out that it will still repeat itself. So they said... Uh, uh, on a second thought, the king uh, decided to take the stepmother's advice, which is to not to uh, take the women to the shrine, but to arrest them or send them out of the palace until they are ready to confess, you know. So they said the king arrested them, allegedly, mm -hmm, because I do not see them and I wasn't there. So always bear that in mind. They said the king arrested them. And after some torturing and uh, 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 threatening, they said, Olori Mariam opened up. I don't know how true it is, so always bear that in mind. It is an alleged information. Now, gist. Mm -hmm. So they said, Olori Mariam opened up and said that she is the one who dropped uh, uh, the charm. And according to her, she said that her reason for doing it is because lately she have been complaining that a certain strange man have been tormenting her life in the palace you know uh, that anytime she wants to sleep this strange man will come with a whip or a cutlass you know and it will be frightening her and she have talked about it the king did not do anything about it she have shouted and cried and sometimes she would run out of the palace yet no one did anything about it there was a time she accused uh, ashley about it yet 
uh, the king did not uh, take it upon himself to figure out if it is actually indeed or another person. So they said, according to that, they said Marian went on a research, you know, that was Namamalawo herself. She can't go, go meet one Babalawo. Tell and say, see what time they passed through in my husband's house or in the palace. These people want to frustrate me out of the palace so that they will take over. But they don't know that that is never going to happen. So they, now they say, Madam, don't go to Babala. We'll go find what's in the cost that strange man, you know, and all of that. I don't know if she con uh, contacted a fat priest to, concerning this. I can't just tell. But from what we are hearing, alleged, they said the reason why she dropped that sham because the king is uh, willing to know the person that dropped it and the, the main reason. Uh -huh. So she is saying that she is the one with the reason that she is uh, uh, finding out who is after her life in the palace that is threatening her or frightening her with a, a strange man with a whip. And when she went to the Babalao's house, the Babalao now gave her these charms. Not just one, no. To drop in the palace, on the corners of the palace, the chambers and everything. So that if that spirit is coming from that palace, once they invoke the spirit, the charm will bring down the spirit and it will not come close to Olori Mariam. Now so we hear, oh, hey, hey, my people don't miss what you know. And a lot of people are saying, if that is true, that means the Babala, the Babala was supposed to tell Mariam who is after her life and who is invoking that spirit. And if I thought she needs she is to uh, keep the juju, she's supposed to keep it under her bed or in her room because that is where they said the thing is coming. The thing is not coming to the king's chamber now. If that is true, uh -huh, because I will always remind you that they are all alleged information. So if it is true, I don't think it is uh, the king's room or the king's chamber that is the best position to keep this thing. They have never told us the truth. Too. Hmm. So then what keeps her from telling us, saying the truth when the king asks them who keep this thing here and why did you keep it? So I don't just know. I don't just know. And another question is coming up saying, why is it that none of these Olorins uh, stand so firm to say that I have not done this and I have not, uh, I did not do it and I have not tried anything? Does it mean that they too are dropping their own and they are confused about whose own? Uh, was exposed, you know, a lot of questions, a lot of questions. But the thing is that uh, it is now clear, very clear, that uh, the palace is not something anyone will pray for, you know, to go and stay in there, forgetting how they dress up, wear expensive clothes, and they make people believe that they are enjoying the life. My people, <laughs> you see, in this life, that little way you get, I appreciate them, I appreciate them because all that glitter, <laughs> sometimes. No be good. No be good. Hmm. Okay. I just saw this on social media and I thought I should come and share with you. Don't forget that they are all alleged information, okay? Always bear that in mind. Do you think Mariam did this thing for that reason she said or she did it for another thing? Or do you think another person have done his or her own, her own in that palace? Anyway, these people, like, they, they just they confuse us every now and then. Every now and then. Anyway, not their matter. So guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and give, uh, turn your notification bell so that you get notified each time I upload a new content. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your support. Give this video a thumbs up and share it. My God will bless you. Bye for now. Love you guys.